Frosties. Coming up, Smokey, some Temple Theories, and another round of Widmore versus Ben. This is your midweek edition of the official fan show for Lost on Sky One. Who's over here? It's Paul Terry, the editor of the official Lost magazine. Hi. Hello, Ian Lee. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. You're nice. Right. Yeah. 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 Good. Over here, it's Geeky Tom. All right, Tom. All right. Yeah. yeah. A bit nervous, are you? No. Yeah. Get off me. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> well, in dead is dead. We learned a bit more about the smoke monster. We learned it can be summoned from Ben's house by like pulling a plug out of a dirty sink in his basement or something like that. Something weird. Uh, it judges people, and it seems to be of ancient origin. Yeah, no little man on a on a wheel. Well, we doesn't. See, that's the theory we've been operating on for a long time. That there's a little man, you know, peddling something. Or pulling, and levers, pulling levers, and you know, twiddling dials. And strangely, that's also how Tom dances at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we've been thinking, and it would it would seem that that perhaps isn't the case. Yeah, that it is made more of a spiritual, mystical. Ancient kind of thing. thing, and that, yeah. that must really grate with your scientific brain. It does really, but really. But it's still old off. science, though, isn't it? You know, if it's from an ancient origin, you can't be old too upset. Science. Really. There's things well, old it's science. Like, it's original science. It's, it's original some, science. Yeah, it predates man. You know, it's, it's actually the... ancient thing. You know, it's an entity. Oh, like you a creationist. You know? Uh, yeah, let's, that, that's really funny. Let's Ask move on from the there. creationism yeah. argument. <laughs> right. Okay. So when Ben Locke and everyone refer to what the island wants, what the island wants. Do they mean the monster? Is the no, monster the controlling so. thing of the island? No, they, well, I think it's the security system for, for something around the temple. There's one, yeah. one weird line in this that made me feel a little bit, it's a bit strange. When uh, Ben says, we have no word for it, but you guys call it the monster. Well, you must have a word for it. Yeah. There's this big smoke thing that goes around chewing people up. You've built a security <laughs> fence to stop it coming in. You must have a word for <laughs> yeah. it. We were working good. Go. Well, there's that. Ah, uh, that. Oh, we run. have a word for that, have we? <laughs> what are we going to do? Leg it. Run. Yeah. Um, and it, it appears that there's other people. Yeah, we've seen. Well, it kind, of, many that, times, it kind of summons it? them, doesn't it? It's weird. This is what kind of like. This is why it's all kind of spiritual. It's like some, you know, the the, the kind of dog god thing and the, the smoke picture on the yes. temple. Maybe yes. maybe it is some kind of like. Afterlife purgatory horribly. Whoa! No, Whoa! No, no, that's Whoa. the P word. Yeah. I, said, I said the P word. Don't yeah. say the P word. We're on season <laughs> five. We laugh at people who still say the P. We laughed at them in, uh, halfway through season one. Yeah, but now they're getting the the ghosts out again, and suddenly, you know, it could make no, sense. No, no, it doesn't. Oh, but that's it doesn't. No, but that suggests they're all dead. We may have no, to fire you, Tom, no. and get someone else in who's not an idiot. Well, they're peddling this. They're showing us with these they, ghosts appear. They are not. Explain no, that scientifically. What ghost? What ghost appeared? Alex, pretty sure she died. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't the ghost. ghost. No. It wasn't the ghost. It was a physical manifestation of the smoke. It wasn't the ghost. It's the ghost. It was either an hallucination, yeah. or the smoke made itself look like Alex. It's a ghost. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not a ghost. It is. It's, it's not. It's turned into Scooby-Doo. What? What <laughs> an idiot. I thought we loved this episode, yeah. No. <laughs> it is Jacob somehow the smoke. No, that's no. rubbish. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> You're still talking about purgatory. When you, when you realise that's stupid, you can come back in and be on this show, all right? Until then, button it. Put your, put your fingers on your lips. Right, fingers on lips. Fine. Fingers on lips. Do it. Put your fingers on your lips. Do it. Thank you. Be a good teacher. Paul. Yeah. yeah. Jacob, smoke monster. What, what's the connection? Is, is, there's got to be a connection, isn't there? Not necessarily. No, I think that the smoke monster is is a security system, as we said many times. Yeah. Something. Now we we seem to know where it dwells yeah. nearby to the temple. Yeah. Jacob's like a whole other thing, whole other mystery that everybody yeah. seems to worship and Ben seems to be obsessed with. But no, no connection. I don't think. Look at it. Look at that look. Look at him. He's dropped him. You ready to come back in now? Oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in yeah. so much trouble. Only with Geeky Tom. <laughs> yeah, right? I ain't that bothered. Oh, man. What? We'll just do it ourselves. <laughs> what does the monster want? I guess it's, we're saying it's a security system, so it's protecting the whole island, so it just yeah, wants the best for the island. But as we've seen before, it does seem to be doing this judgment thing. You know, we've seen it many times where you know it downloaded some stuff about Echo, seemingly the first time yeah. about Echo, and then like a few episodes yeah. later it killed him, yeah. so he was bad or wasn't allowed to remain on the island. So 
But Ben's done some pretty harsh stuff, so as the, the, you said, there must be a reason he's why he's been Skippy's He's been around. judged, and he would, he would not be allowed to live on the result of his actions. Um, unless, like you said, like there's, there's a reason. There's a reason. Yeah. He's there for a purpose. Uh, it, it's possible that Christian, if, if Alex is a manifestation of this way, that Christian could be. Possibly. Locke yeah. could be. I never, I never sort of tied Christian in with that, no. sort of things, but I thought he was something else entirely. But. It seems strange that he, he was. Well, well, whoa, hang on a second. It, the same thing happened to Christian that's happened to, to Locke, isn't it? He's, he's, in, he's in a coffin, he crashed, he's dead, he's alive. And actually, or like, is he? All the name says is, you know, I think it was like the first or second episode, empty coffin. Yeah. Images of Christian Shepherd yeah. standing in front of Jack. Yeah. So this is like way ago, so come on. Awesome. All good. Are you ready to say sorry to the boys and girls watching this at home now? <laughs> what? Are you prepared to apologise no, to them? I'm not going to. I think you owe them an apology for using the big no, Tom. I'm not, I'm not going to say so. I'm not going to say it. You are a very silly boy. Thank you. Got some emails. I know forum posts do, do apologise from Darth Bubba. Personal, <laughs> funny, isn't it? Personally, I'm getting that Smokey is a manifestation of Amit. No, the Egyptian devourer of the dead. He was normally depicted, though most often as a croc-headed ape dog. <laughs> as you do. Serving Anubis as hearts for way to determine if a soul reached the afterlife. He was always neutral up until judgment. If the soul was judged worthy, they walked and talked on into the afterlife. The, the soul, if the soul wasn't worthy, though, Amit would feast. Sounds an awful like, lot like our pal Smokey to me. Oh, sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Your, book, of, your book of ancient Egypt, yeah. Some kind of place where souls get trapped when they're dead. I, I, I don't know what this could possibly be. <laughs> Definitely not a word for that. Definitely not a word. So you're saying that, that you and Darth Baba, yeah. we're both saying you're both using the P word, eh? Yeah, well, okay. it's like it. Looks Shameful. Like, <laughs> even though that's been denied by everybody. Well, then why are they doing this then? No, he's, yes, the smoker's judged him, but he's, no, he's not dead, he's alive. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we've got a forum post by Mbruk. I guess that's how you say it, M-B-R-U-C. The hieroglyphs in the temple from where Smokey came out of his hole feature Smokey in front of the Egyptian god Anubis, god of the afterlife. Perhaps... <laughs> no, don't, come on. <laughs> Come on, now. Come on now. <laughs> Perhaps Smokey has some control over the afterlife and brought back Alex for just that moment to scare Ben. <laughs> ben Charles Widmore, uh, we, we think that Widmore was the leader, was certainly very high up uh, oh, yeah. until Ben got him thrown off of the island. Uh, Widmore wanted to kill, uh, wanted Ben to kill Rousseau and Alex. Couldn't do it himself though. No. Couldn't do thing. the killing himself. Why is that? But that sounds familiar. Do you remember when Ben was saying to Locke, go and get your dad, kill your dad, make yourself worthy? But Ben seemed to be manipulating a lot of people around at the time to kill other people. Did, did Ben somehow trick Widmore into making. Did, did Ben trick him off the island by either making him think that he could break the rules by. I like Some, that, yeah. I, I, I think it was more of him maybe dobbing Widmore in. Did he uncover Widmore's rule breaking or did he trick Widmore into revealing it or? I like that though, because it, it sort of adds to the whole Ben's background, isn't it, of playing situations really well, long cons, yeah. putting people into positions that he wants them to be in, so. We yeah. have not seen Penny's mother, have we? I wonder if she's, she must no. be significant in some way. But she doesn't seem to have a relationship with her. Doesn't seem to sort of, a bit like Charles. Is she she's, dead? She's, not, she's a bit of a loner. She could be dead. Or she could be someone significant, or she could have been killed in one of the, you know, uh, Ben could have had her killed in some kind of spy type but thing. But Desmond's family are all a bit, you know, of a mystery, so that's probably why they sit together so much. There's got to be more conflict between Ben and Widmore this series, like physical Absolutely. kind of conflict. Oh, yeah. the, the season finale, perhaps? It, it looks like we're getting ready for a battle with Ilana and that giant crate, and there's, there's a sort of small well, army there's on there. There's a war coming, it keeps being referenced. Yeah, there's a nuclear bomb in there, you so know. I'm well, not Charles. <laughs> I keep on saying it, it's definitely it's Charles yeah. in there. It well, it, I, I doubt it's Charles in there. It could possibly be a nuclear bomb. He's, he's a robot, they have to assemble him. Jeez, why do you even bother turning <laughs> up? Because you're doing no one any favours. Uh, if you want to send us your uh, theories or ideas and bits and pieces, send us an email to lost on sky1, sky.com, lost on sky1, uh, on sky.com. Don't forget we are on the Facebook, the Bebo, the Twitter and the MySpace, and we quite often Twitter whilst we're watching the episode, and we give no spoilers. Um, okay, the temple, which we saw in Dead is Dead. 
We didn't see inside the temple. We saw under the temple, yet it still looked like a temple under the temple. But was it was it under the temple? Was it under that structure of the walls? Because the ben, wall. ben said the temple was a little way away, so... Have we seen inside the temple? No. Well, we've seen a bit of it. Maybe it's the, um, the, the antechamber. We haven't seen any of the temple. Well, it, but it looked like a temple, didn't it? No, what is it then, no, it Terry? Like, no, it's sorry? Not, if it's not a temple, what is it? No, but we haven't seen the temple yet. Yeah, where'd that come from? <laughs> well, I want to know what it is. You can't just go, it's not the temple. Okay, then what is it then? Well, like you said, it's an antechamber. It's, it's, it's an underground chamber, but it's not the temple. So what's in the real temple? Oh, man, it's just it's so whatever the Smokies are protecting. Yeah. Maybe it has um, a gateway to the afterlife where... Purgatory. Yeah, that's good. Well, that's something you're just embarrassing yourself. Mate. Just embarrassing yourself. You know what I mean, he's got a proper job and responsibilities. It's hard to believe, isn't it? But it is, is, is something. Uh, the temple is older than the island and just appeared there when the island was jumping around. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it was. Yeah. Or like yeah. picked it up. Like yeah, it, it picked yeah. it up. Like it did with the Black Rock. It just picked it up. Yeah. Why not? Maybe it was part of a bigger landmass and got broken away. No, 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 don't go with that. Go with what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah? That the island was jumping around. <laughs> doing, 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 yeah. doing, doing. Picks up a boat. Doing, yes. doing, doing, doing. Picks up a temple. Doing, doing, doing. Where did the temple, where did it pick up the temple? I don't know where it picked the temple up. I don't need to answer that question. I'm just saying that that's a possibility. Okay. There's a possibility you're probably wrong. <laughs> Maybe there's a stargate there that they're <laughs> protecting. <laughs> Now, it would be both no. terrible and brilliant if they went into the temple and the entire cast of Stargate were in there. And they're oh. like, whoa, what are you guys doing here? Whoa. What are you doing here? Oh, oh. fantastic. <laughs> I, I pray it's not. Another form post from Kittrell. Prevailing opinion seems to be that the Egyptian references are leading up to an explanation of the lost mythology. I believe the prevailing opinion is backwards. <laughs> <laughs> The lost mythology is going to lead to a fictional explanation of Egyptian mythology. And he concludes, island equals cause, Egyptian mythology equals effect. I conclude with, what? I don't understand that. <laughs> no. Um, that, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I don't, hey listen, Kitron, maybe it's just us being really, really stupid, but I don't, I don't get it. I'm going to take a while seven in the dark and say that, are they saying that the island and everything about Lost actually creates Egyptian mythology is like the origin of Egyptian mythology, which is, I, I don't even think that's a good interpretation, but yeah. they like the word prevailing. They use it about four times. Yeah, I think that's what, what they, yeah, yeah, they could be saying, the, the, the Lost Island. That's weird, that's weird. That's strange, one. Isn't yeah, it? that's weird. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and to be told you're weird from, from him. <laughs> That's, that's, that's something. Oh, this is exciting. We've got a new entry for our biggest Lost fan competition. It's Jeremy Downing, who watches Lost on Sky One in, we think, New Zealand. Let's have a look. Hi guys, I am emailing all the way from New Zealand and I am the biggest Lost fan. Now the reason why I am different from everybody else is because I am a Lost evangelical and I actively go out and try, and I do, convert people to Lost. So far I have converted 27 people and they in turn have gone out and converted more people. I'm just spreading the lost love and uh, that is why I'm your biggest lost fan. Well, thank you for that, Jeremy. He seems relatively normal, apart from the eyebrows. Um, but he seemed like a nice chap, didn't he? I liked him. <laughs> I, think, I think you should win it. Can't we get yeah. to New Zealand? Yeah, well, the, the thing is, yeah, how do we get him over here from New Zealand? That's the, uh, I ain't paying for it. Go to him, you know. Mm, nice. <laughs> thank you very much for that, Jeremy. Good work. And there's still time for you uh, to say who you think is enough of a lost geek to join us in the last couple of weeks of this series of Lost for a big geek off quiz. Should be a lot of fun. We'll take your opinions into account when we decide, so email lost on sky1 at sky.com and you've still got a couple of weeks to get your entries in, so send us a short video message and you could be joining us on the show. Uh, time for a quick Facebook uh, post from Dave War. I don't get why Geeky Tom is on the show. He just seems to mumble random crap. <laughs> I don't Aww. know, maybe people like that. No, they don't. <laughs> they, they don't. They don't. They hate it. They hate it. You're the geek they love to hate. Thank you, Dave. Yes, you've said what we've all been thinking. Uh, the Facebook ranking so far, the I Love Ian Lee group, 94 friends. I Love Paul Terry, 106. I Love Geeky Tom, 442. <laughs> Come on. I'm, I'm guessing that's an ironic membership. Let's, let's, get, let's get Tom, let's get to 1,000. 1,000 at the end of season five. Come on. I win then, again, each, each week I've, I've won. 
<laughs> but you lose in so many other ways. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Paul, thank you. Thank you, sir. Tom? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Join us on Sunday when we'll be discussing episode 13, Some Like It Hoth. In the meantime, you can watch all of our Lost initiative shows so far at sky.com forward slash lost. Please keep your theories and your emails coming in. Until Sunday, namaste. Maybe it is some kind of like afterlife purgatory. No, Whoa. no. no.